decided to click on the wrong one. This is going to be a fantastic stream, everyone. There you go. That is a recording file. We don't want to load up the recording file. We want to load up the screen live stream file. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another live stream of Resident Evil HD Remastered. It's been a oh god, where am I? This is spooky. Oh yeah, I'm underground in the courtyard. I forgot. It has been a little while. It has been almost like. 10 days since I last recorded. I have been busy preparing for Christmas and holidays and stuff like that. I hope you all are having a happy holiday, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, whatever it may be. I hope you have a happy holiday. As for me, I am going to do some live stream of Resident Evil and hopefully not get murdered by salty dogs and salty enemies and mean things around the corners. So yeah, I just need to remember what we're going to do in this episode, that's the thing, it has been a little bit since I last recorded. So it's going to take me a little moment to remember what I have to do. Let's see, we just barely got into the court yards underground, we did a lot of stuff last time. And I believe now we actually have to go and take care of this underground cave area. Uh, that should be good enough. All right, let's go. Don't really remember what's in this place that very. All I do remember is it's just been a while since I played through this area. But I don't know what we gotta do with Chris here though, since Chris is not Jill. I know what you have to do with Jill, but not with Chris. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is the puzzle room thing. I remember this much. There's a shiny over there. We want to get the shiny first. Because we love shinies. That should be ammo! Which I will really need a lot of ammo. I need shotgun ammo too. No grenade launcher means we're going to have a tough time here. Wait, wait, wait. Of course, there's this bit of ammo here too. Some more handgun ammo. Again, would have really liked a shotgun ammo, but... You know, beggars can't be choosers. Anyways, there's a thing here. Elevator's power supply. There's a round lid. We'll open it, and then there's a thing. Which is the shaft. <laughs> yes, a shaft. Keep that out of your dirty-minded heads, you dirty-minded people. It appears to be some sort of key to start the power supply. Symbols are carved in its sides. Yeah, there's a little puzzle to this thing, but... Uh, there isn't really anything we can do with it right at the moment. So, in other words, it's completely worthless to us, and it's kind of taking up inventory. So we're going to put this away, since the save room is just... Well, the item box is right nearby. Alright. In the door, Chris. All right. Now then, put this away, because there should be some items that we can pick up soon in this area. And I think I should have some space for what I need to do. Uh, I need to think though. Might actually need some of these blue and green herbs, because there's some spiders down here. I know that from fact. But they won't be. I don't know if they're gonna be till now or later, though. That's the thing. And in case we come along a zombie, at least we can be able to shoot it dead and then kerosene it. Nice toasty zombie. You know, always good. All right. There isn't really much we can do here. It should be empty. Yes, it's empty. Now we gotta go through here. Wait, is this the part already, or is this later? Uh, I need to think what happened. I think this is important. 
Uh, okay, there's nothing there. Enrico, don't come any closer. Holy shit, it's Enrico. What's up, man? What happened? Double crosser. Enrico, hmm? wait. Oh! Enrico! Dun dun dun! Um, Uh, Enrico is dead as hell. Poor guy. Double crosser. But what could it mean? Things are not as they seem, it appears. Poor Enrico, he's dead. Killed with just one shot? Who could it be? Crazy, I know. Poor guy's dead. We don't take his gun either. Wait, he's holding something. We do get this crank though. And that's just any other crank. It's a special crank. It's a hexagonical crank. Hexagon crank, actually. This crank will now be important because now we can cross the bridge or like the little gap where the where the item box was down here. So that means we can progress. Although, I think we're gonna have to deal with a few enemies here. Because now there should have spawned something here. I think. Uh, hmm. Oh! Yep, thought so! Uh, get it off, get it off, get it off! There we go. <laughs> oh, damn, that hurt me. I guess I got too close to that grenade. I'm going to need to heal for that. Crap. Probably should have taken the green herb and stuff. Don't know if there's more of them. I think there's another one of them. Maybe not. Could've sworn there was another one. Maybe it was just the one. I hope it's just the one, because... Yeah. Man, I hate hunters so much. Is he trying to get through? Yeah. I don't know if they're both dead. Okay, they're both dead. Phew. I don't like hunters. Nobody likes hunters. Hunters are jerks. And I'm really, really, really low on shotgun ammo now. Oh man. Thankfully, there are the only three, I think, that are there. And there's no hunters in this area, thank goodness for that. Alright, we need some health. That is an important thing. Huff some green. There we go. Everyone loves to huff some green. I'm trying to think what I need for the moment. Uh... We're just gonna need the hexagonical crank, that much I know, for this little bit here. And, you know, for some reason, Chris has the strength. He's pretty strong, man. He can just freaking turn that whole thing. That, that, I don't know how heavy that would have to be to turn that whole thing there, but that's gotta be pretty heavy to turn, just saying. Alright. Anyways. Nice little green herb right here, if I can get it. There we go. Beautiful. I love green herbs. Green herbs are good. Huff some green. Pass out for the next few hours, but you still feel good. <laughs> I would not advise to do that, really, actually. Don't listen to my advice there. People don't huff strange green things. That's, they're bad for you. Uh, 
All right. Now then, we should be able to go in here. And I think there should be some things we can hit here. I don't remember. Oh, it's this bit. Uh, what's this? Take the flamethrower. Is this a working flamethrower? It is a working flamethrower. An anti-personal weapon that sprays streams of flames. Oh, dude, we get the flamethrower in here. Oh, it's locked in one open. Oh, I guess we gotta put the flamethrower back. Er. Uh. Wait a minute, I can't put it back? Okay, we'll set the flamethrower. <laughs> okay, so we need to put the flamethrower there in order to get back to the save room. We're gonna need some inventory space because there's a couple of items that we can get in here. And I'm pretty sure there should be no enemies to worry about. Except for one. So we can put away the shot... the one bullet. We can put away the hand magazine. And we'll actually put away the tactical shotgun. Because cause I don't think we're going to need this for a bit. But we will need inventory space. That much I know. Alright. I didn't know you can get the flamethrower. I mean, in Jill's store, you obviously couldn't because it was broken, but I guess Chris is the one I guess to use it then. Now then, take this. There should be a, probably a broken one that we can get then. Uh, it's a little tricky. Oh, wait. He was pulled the blocks the way. Oh, ball sacks. Run, Chris, run! Oh, what a dodge! That was pretty badass, if I do say so myself, Chris. So stupid boulders. Nobody likes boulders. The only boulders that I like are from freaking, um, what's that game? Rock of Ages. That's the only time I like boulders. And here are some, yes, shotgun ammo. Probably should have kept the ammo that I had a moment ago. But there we go. Take those. Put back the flamethrower, because we're going to put these away. But we will need the flamethrower, I'm going to guess. I don't know if it's going to be important here. Because I can't remember what's through that double door. I don't think what I'm thinking of is right now. I think what I'm thinking of is till later, but I'm not 100% sure. Should I take the shotgun ammo as the thing? I don't know. I don't think so. Alright. Alright, let's take this flamethrower, because we like flamethrowers. Oh god! Why is that here? Why is that in here? Probably should have kept the shotgun, huh? Oh, this is this part? Oh my god, no. Well, hello everyone to the black tiger. A really stupidly giant, really stupidly giant spider. But, I guess this is where you use the flame door, because this thing is weak to fire. In Jill's story, I know you use the grenade launcher and use like the fire, the flame grenades or whatever it's called, and it's really weak to that, so it should be weak to fire. But this thing can poison us, which sucks. Ow! That was pretty mean. I didn't get a chance to react. Ow. I don't know if that's damaging it is the thing. Ow. What's my- oh Jesus Christ. Oh it's dead. Well hot damn. Alright, get out of here.
hit this. Gotta go heal. Gotta get my shotgun because there's a hunter here. I hope it's not gonna come through the door. Okay, yeah, it's gonna come through the door. I think I might be boned. I don't think I can tank a hit from that thing. Alright, that thing's despawned, and for some reason there's a survival knife here. It's very important that we need this, though. It's the one time we're actually going to need it. Because we actually got to cut all these spider webs in order to open the door. Yeah. For whatever reason, we can't just go through that door that easily. Okay. Should be some things we can get here. A blue, two blue herbs that we really don't need, and then there's a map. All right. Oh wait, did I? S I think I might have done goofed as well. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I goofed. We do need something else. Oh balls. Oh balls indeed. If it weren't for that hunter, if it weren't for that hunter, blue rivers don't even heal, which is the sucky part. Door's locked and it won't open, and this is where we are gonna need to put the uh, flamethrower. So that opens the door here. Go through the door. Except we can't really do anything here. With that, that crank that was here a moment ago. Hexagonical hole here. Yeah, we need the crank again. Oh, bell. Oh, I think I might be in trouble. I think I might actually die. Because A, I need the hexagonical crank. B, I don't have my shotgun. And C, there's a hunter. I think I might be in trouble. And there's nothing else in here. No Healy items, no nothing. Uh, I don't want to go through with this little bit. Uh, boy. Maybe I'll be lucky and survive a hit. One hit is all I need to get through. Oh, that was lucky. Well, that did the trick. I'm on Danger Red. I am DEFCON 1 here. Or is it DEFCON 4? I, I don't know. Is it DEFCON 1 where it's like really bad? I'm on DEFCON 1 if it is. I'm in bad shape. I need heals. I'm hurt. I need some huff some greens here, man. Whew, huff some green. Feel much better now. Alright. First off, we're gonna need that crank. Where's that crank? There's the crank. Put that knife with the other one. Take this and mix these two together. And we'll put these away. Okay, we got the crank, we got the gun, just in case. There should be no zombies here, but what else am I gonna need? Uh, no. Don't need the ammo, don't need the gun. I think I will take the shaft, though. That'll be important now. Whew, man, I felt like I dodged the bullet there. 
I didn't expect the hunter to be easily killed by that flamethrower. I was like, well, YOLO, let's YOLO this shit and see if it works. And I guess it did. I don't like hunters. Hunters are mean. Evil giant spires of death are also really mean. I don't like them either. Alright. Also, I think uh, there was like a giant spider in here along with the black tiger. And, uh, I guess it's not here anymore. Which is always a good thing. I don't want to deal with more enemies that we can handle. But the flamethrower is only at 10%. Kind of a shame, but it did its job. Thank you, flamethrower. You are a, you are definitely a gentleman and a scholar. Flamethrower is awesome. All right, now then we got to do this bit now. If you hadn't guessed, there's another boulder right there, which will probably try to smush us. Personally, I hope it doesn't. I don't know how this thing's gonna activate. If it's gonna activate right now or. Yeah. How far am I from the thing? As long as I hug to the right, I should be fine, I think. Oh, wait. I goofed. I have to turn it again. There we go. I was wondering why it was off. Run, 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 Chris. Okay. Stupid boulder. Nobody likes boulders that roll like that. Boulders are jerks, I tell you that much. And what do we get for our troubles? It's this nice little first aid box. That should be everything here. Yes. Good. Better than good. Great. What do we get for our troubles? A canned first aid spray that we'll never use. Because I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that you get docked points at the end of the game for using, like, first aid sprays. Not herbs, but first aid sprays. I think they stopped doing that once you get to, like, Resident Evil 4. I'm pretty sure. Alright, made it to this area, which is a little puzzle here. Uh, goddess statue smiles silently back at you. Alright, and then what's here? Should be the hexagonical hole, yes. Alright. Anyways, you got a little bit of a pushing puzzle. You gotta push this over here. There we go. Right into that little thing there. And if you stand on this, you get turned around at a 45 degree angle, which is very important that we know this. Anyways, we want to use the crank here because for whatever reason that pushes out like a little bit of the wall there. Enough for the statue to get pushed from the other side. Now then, we push the statue over here just enough so that we can put it on the circle here. There we go. Gotta push it off again. There. And then we gotta push it back on one more time. And it should be able to turn it perfectly on the other side where the other statue is. There we go. We're almost done here. Pretty simple puzzle actually. Now then we want to push this from the side here so we can get into that little square peg there. There we go. That should be perfect actually. And lastly we'll just push this here into this place. There we go. And what do we get for troubles? Is this little thing here. Which is a cylinder. Alright. That's pretty much it came all the way for this little cylinder. It's not just any cylinder. 
Examine this. Circular metal object with a hole in the center. Symbols are carved on its side. All right. And we actually want to combine this with a shaft to get the cylinder shaft. Symbols are carved on the sides. Will we turn it? Yes. We actually want to turn it so it actually matches the thing here. It's very important that we match this. And one more should do it. There we go. Four, two, three, one. I don't know if the number here is actually of importance. I can't remember, but I don't think... I'm pretty sure that it does not m mean anything. Pretty sure it's just like you just gotta match it up properly. It should be fine there. Alright. We're pretty much done here now. Took care of that little boss that was there with the flamethrower. And we're pretty much done with this area. Don't gotta worry about no boulders anymore. Only the like the two boulder traps are pretty sure in this area. After that we're pretty much don't have to worry about boulders. Alright. However, we will need the good old flamethrower one last time. Because we need it to get through the area. Nothing spawns here, and I think there should have been just the one hunter in that. And that should be it. We're pretty much safe. Alright, time to say goodbye, beautiful flamethrower. You have served your purpose. You have served me well. Alright. Don't need the first aid sprays. Don't need any of this stuff, to be honest. However, I think I am... Don't think we need the crank anymore after this. So we can just do this with the crank. There. I mean, because why not? Make sure nothing comes out of that hole again. But I think we are pretty much done with the crank. I believe there should be no more use for the crank. I think. I don't know if June's here. Where's my... Where's June? He's like, like my uh, backup guy who tells me everything. He knows all the stuff. But I don't remember. Uh, we could just leave all this stuff here. don't think we'll need any of the items for now, I think. I need to think for a moment. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any zombies downstairs where we're going to do now. But we should be good now. Gotta go through the spooky door of spookiness is all. Okay. No hunters to spook us. And I don't think there are hunters in this area. If there are hunters here, I'm going to be sad. I don't hear any. Good. Anyways, empty space here with cylinder shaft. Something seems to be missing. And this is where we put the little thing here. Alright. Series of flashing buttons, press 1. Oh, I guess, th yeah, it's four, two, three, one. Looks like the power has been restored. Alright, so you actually do have to remember the numbers. What do you know? And that causes an elevator to come up. And now we should be able to go down. Alright. It's elevator switch here, press it, yes. And I guess... We're gonna go in here alone. Mm 
All right. All right, second floor. There's an item box here too. And you can't go that way. There's a door over there, but I don't think we want to go through that door just yet. Pile of sandbags. Cool. Didn't mean to check that. Uh, where's the item box? Oh, here it is. Alright. Now then. We're actually going to need just one thing here. It's not important, but I want to have it just to... Wait. Oh yeah, I used it up. Never mind. There was something we could have gotten, but I already used it. Never mind. Alright, is there anything I can pick up in here? Nothing. Might as well explore a little bit. Garbage compactor, there's a switch. Press it. It causes that little garbage compactor to go down. Which, at the moment, it's not really of importance, but it will be important later. That for sure. Alright. Now then. Gotta go through this door, but I need to remember what's through this door. I need to think for a moment. Uh... Alright. I actually think I know what we gotta do here. It's not gonna be fun, but... Yeah, it must be done. Oh yeah, it's this bit. I remember this bit. This bit's not gonna be that very fun. Oh! Yep, someone's here that we all know and don't really love. It's Lisa! Somehow she's here. And she actually spawns... She actually has a different spawn. Either you, she can spawn to the left if you go to the left, or she'll spawn to the right if she's, you go to the right path there. So it's good to know. Because you're going to need to, you know, play keep away with her. Anyway, he's got a nice little full heal here, and I think that should be it. That's all that's collectible there. There's a door around here somewhere. Yes, this door. We want to go through this door first. I believe Lisa can't follow us through doors, so we should be safe for that. She'll just follow us in that little circle area. Now then, there should be some items to collect here. Uh, should be here somewhere. Ah, uh, here we go. Climb up here. It's a little hard to see, but there's a whole bunch of stuff right here. A flash grenade. Nice. Some magnum ammo. Really nice. And lastly, there should be some handgun ammo. Perfect. That should be everything in this little room, right? Yes. That's everything in here. everything that's salvageable here and then there's this box very important all right we want to push this box onto that uh, kind of trolley I guess that would be a conveyor trolley something don't know what the technical term would be but we gotta push this on here anyways that's the important thing there I should do device for transporting material Start it up. There we go. And off you go, Mr. Box. So long. Don't forget to send a postcard. Alright. Well, that's one thing done here. And then there's another door that we have to go through. But we gotta go back to where the, uh, the thing was. So that means we gotta be careful of Lisa. Hmm. Oh, there she is. Okay. Spawns on that side, so I'm gonna cheese it on over here. 
and I believe if we go through here, there's something right here. Some side of mechanical hook. The hook is stuck inside the hole. Yeah, we're gonna need something to fit there. There, so we can get through. Alright. Thankfully, Lisa does not leave this little circle hole room cave area thing. Yeah. So we'll be safe. She won't follow us, thankfully. But now, I believe, if we go down here... There's the box that we saw a moment ago. Which we can now push over here onto the garbage compactor. Alright. If guns aren't effective, you'd think the flamethrower would be a good option on Lisa. It's, she's still f human flesh, you know? It's a formed human flesh, but it should still do the trick, right? Anyways, we'll press this, and that'll crush that little box that's right there. Goodbye, Mr. Box. Alright. And what do we get for another troubles? Another flamethrower! But not just any old flamethrower, it should be a f yeah, it's a broken flamethrower. Because it got smushed by the garbage compactor. No. The muzzle is broken, it can't be fired. For shame, but it does have another purpose, actually. Very important purpose. We're going to use it on that hook we saw just a moment ago. It's the or- To order. Yes, to order some pizza, I was about to say. <laughs> to actually- open the door so we can get through not forgetting anything am I I don't think I'm forgetting anything that I can think of at the moment oh of course the ammo and everything gotta put that away let's put this ammo and stuff away I'll actually hold I think I should hold on to the mixed herbs, I think. Or do I need inventory space? I need to think for a moment. Think, 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 think. Hmm. I think we're good. I'm pretty sure I, would, I think we're good. We don't need anything else. We're just gonna need the broken flamethrower to get through the door. So that means we gotta get through Lisa once again. Spawner on the right side. There she is. Alright. I think that lever there is so you can uh, pull down like a wall so she can't get through. Not necessary to use that here. What do you mean? Is hook stuck in the hole? Wait. What do you mean it's not necessary to use this now? I thought... Oh, I think I know what we gotta do. We gotta take this one and replace... Whoa, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be on the other side. That was close, too. I almost got hit. Damn it, Lisa. Hmm... Hmm, I could have sworn that that should have worked. What the? What just happened? It's broken. What? Ha Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm confused now. I'm confused. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? I could have sworn you needed the broken flamethrower in order to get through the door. Uh, 
a little confused now. If that doesn't work, what else will work? The shotgun won't work. I could have sworn that the broken flamethrower was supposed to work for that. Elevator's broken too. So I thought we would have had to go back for the flamethrower and then swap the flamethrower with the broken flamethrower. I'm confused now. I could have sworn that this was supposed to be the way it worked. He's gonna get Lisa over here. Right there she is. Some kind of mechanical lock, hook, the hook is stuck inside the hole. Wait. I I gotta be missing something then. There's Lisa. Is it the lever then? Is there a note here, I think? No, oh, it's nothing to read. Okay, there's Lisa. I just want to make sure she doesn't spawn on the wrong side or whatever. Some kind of lever here. Pull. Oh, that's how it works. You have to pull the lever. I thought the lever... Maybe it was a different game I'm thinking of where you pull a lever and it's supposed to, like, put a wall or something. There we go. That's what we were trying to do. Okay. Okay, I thought... I thought the lever did something else. I thought it did something optional. Alright, where are we? Well, this is creepy. Old beat up dolls and used candles. First item, it shows signs of use. Can we actually use it here? No. Don't think Lisa follows us here. Which is nice. Which the dolls are all faded and worn. This is definitely pretty creepy. Wait a minute, there should be something to collect here, right? Or am I missing something here? Yes, dolls and all faded out, yes. Or maybe there's nothing here. The icon's telling me that there's something here. That's later on. And there's snakes in here. Damn snakes. Alright. I don't think the snakes will follow us from here. Bunch of photographs featuring a young girl depicting various scenes of her upbringing. Alright. Bed's still warm. Could have sworn there's something to pick up here. Ah, oh, there it is. The jewelry box. Another jewelry box. That's what we were looking for. Don't think that's everything though. But there should be something else to pick up here, I think. Ah, here it is. A blue herb and a green herb. Alright. That's what we was here, right? Let's see. Yeah, that's everything, alright. Alright. And inside is a stone ring. And there's something else here. A family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administrated. Administered. Jessica. Administered virus. Type A. Plasmolizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Lisa, administered virus, type B. Plasma molding of the tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion, positive but delayed fusion. 
the body modification. Observed constant results. Status. Continue protective observation. George. Action terminated. November 30th, 1967. There's a journal left by someone. November 14th, 1967. I feel dizzy after they gave... After that shot they gave me. I don't see Mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th, 1967. I found Mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake. Not my real Mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find Mom. Have to give face back to Mom. I got Mom's face back. No one can have my mom except me. I attached her face to me so she doesn't go anywhere because mom said when I meet her without her face. November 20, November 17th. Illegible number. From inside box, scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Yeah. Stone box hard, it hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. Yeah, that's some foreshadowing right there. Something we gotta do. And uh, that should be it for this area. And all this for a stone ring. It's an octagonal ring made of stone. If you haven't pieced together 2 plus 2 yet, then you probably don't know what, where I'm gonna go with this. Wouldn't you know it? We're back. Somehow we're back in Lisa's little cabin here. From the map, it doesn't look like it should be there, but you know, it's not going to be a perfect map, but yeah. Couldn't go there for whatever reason. Could have just lifted the wood up, but I guess it was too heavy for Chris. Alright. Anyways, we're going to need one thing here. And that should be the metal object. Which we can now combine with this ring to make a stone and metal object. Yeah. This will actually be important for later. Okay, that should be everything we need. That's one stone and metal object, and the other one is still in the little peg thing that was outside before. Alright, that should be everything. Might as well take these. Just in case, because we might actually need them. Alright, we got more than enough magnum ammo, we got more than enough ammo of stuff that we have. Take care of what we gotta do next. And this next bit is actually something I really, really don't wanna do. Because this is probably one of the hardest things to do in the game. One of many hard things to do in the game, but... In my opinion, this is one of the toughest things to do in the game. What we're about to do next. I'm not really looking forward to it either. Anyways, what we got to do now is go all the way back down to the, let's see, where does this take, yeah, it'll take us back to the mansion if we go down this path. Go back to the mansion. We're pretty much done with the courtyard. 100% at the courtyard now. So that means we got to go back through the mansion. It's going to be the one or two zombies along the way though. Ah, uh, get it off! There we go. Kind of a waste, but yeah.
Thankfully, it was just the one zombie in here. I think, I think in the graveyard there might be a zombie or two. Or there's the salty birds, I can't remember. Alright. God damn it. There. Thought I could have kited him, but I didn't. Hmm. Alright. Well, I think that should be all the enemies that's right there, so we don't have to worry about anything now. I think we're pretty much home free until we get to the next item box back in the other side of the mansion. But I'm pretty sure we don't have to deal with any more hunters at the least. Alright, is there anything here? No. I could have sworn there was going to be some items here. I guess that was what the items already had. Anyways, we can finally take back the stone to metal object. Because we'll never have to go through the courtyard ever again. Well, there are the two bits of kerosene, but you know, at this point we're not going to need those two bits of kerosene. Let me think for a moment, what we got to do next? I'm gonna go through here and go back to the front door of the mansion. And then get to the nearest item box. Thankfully this is the safest path. And there should be nothing in the graveyard still. It should be like a free zone, a free pass back to the front door. Oh the foyer air whatever we call it. Haven't been through here in a little while. Nice to go through this area nice and safely. Alright. Feels like it's been quite a while since I've been back here in the foyer of the mansion. Anyways, you hadn't noticed. This. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. Gee, Chris, seriously. Anyways. There. That's part one of the puzzle. Part two is the other stone and metal object that we just made and stored away. We're gonna need it to open this door and open up a brand new area. We gotta go back to the save room though, and this should be a quick stop in there. I don't think there should be any enemies here. area should still be safe. I don't think there's gonna be any hunters in this area anymore. I hope not, is all. Alright, at least now we can safely go to this medical save room area. Alright. Whew. Feels good to be in a nice, safe room again. Alright, we're gonna need this. Now we gotta go back to that door down there. And now we gotta do pretty much one of the hardest things to do in the game, in my opinion. It's kind of easy to get like a game over in this part, and I'm not looking forward to it. All right. Oh, 
Oh boy. I am definitely not looking forward to this, I can tell you that much. Alright. Alright. There. And that opens up the door here. Two elements fit neatly into the door, and we will actually go through the door. Somehow there must be like this pressure sensitive lock mechanism for that to be open. Might be a little too difficult to see, but there's a typewriter right here. There's nothing to collect here. And most importantly, there's an item box right here. In which I'm actually going to take an ink ribbon. I'm actually going to do a save in the middle of a stream. This is very important that I do this right now. There. Hmm. Alright. Well, folks, we're going to pretty much do one of the most difficult things in the game to do right now. And I'm really not looking forward to this. Okay, we got this, this, and this. We're not going to need that for now. Don't need the cranks anymore. Just to be on the safe side, I might take a mixture of herbs. Oh man, I am really not looking forward to this little bit. I am not looking to forward to this at all. My heart is literally... Well, my chest feels like it's pounding a bit. I really don't like what we're going to do next. I'm actually getting the shivers. <sighs> I'm actually getting the shivers of what we're about to do. Because this is pretty much one of the like I'm I'm real I'm, I'm emphasizing this a lot, but this is one of the hardest things to do in the game, in my opinion. I hope the shotgun is effective here because the magnum would be probably effective too, but I think the shotgun just might do it. Oh boy, here we go, folks. Oh crap! You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Wesker's here for some reason. I didn't know he was right here. Anyways, what we gotta do is push this over here. Watch out for Lisa. Hopefully she doesn't knock us off. Ow! Oh, I gotta push them from the sides. That sucks. Ah, oh, you're fine, Wesker. I'm pretty sure Wesker's fine. And now we run. There we go. That should open up this. I don't know if we're supposed to save Wesker there. I don't think so. But, uh, I don't know if we're supposed to save Wesker there, because, well, you know. Hmm. I need to check something then. I don't know if we're supposed to save Wesker or we get something out of it. Or we're supposed to let Wesker die and not worry about it, because he's supposed to, you know, cover for us. In Jill's story, it does matter, if you want to get the best ending. But I don't know if it matters for Chris... So I'm going to check this, actually.
All right. It doesn't matter if you're for Chris. It doesn't matter. So the fact that uh, Wesker fell off, it doesn't matter since he's you know part of the plot. If you hadn't noticed by now, or for you people, obviously probably by now know this about Wesker. Yeah, so it's completely fine that Wesker falls off, since it's part of the plot. He'll be fine. He'll probably, like, be fine. There's nothing we have to worry about there. Oh, whoops. I kind of was eager McBeaver here. not supposed to go here just yet. We actually need two items for this area. Two very important items. Thankfully Lisa is gone so... She's gone for good. Don't ever have to worry about it. Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait there's something else. It's a letter. To my Lisa. Day by day I can feel my conscience is drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Together, today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, mommy can think straight, but mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's scared, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. What your faces look like, how we used to be together, they're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now, so I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and Daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time we go to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we are off unconscious, and when the man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. When we are on the outside, let's look for Daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1970, 1967, Jessica Trevor. Yeah, Trevor family has a pretty sucky life, man. Sucks for those guys. Alright. Anyways. There's actually two items that we're going to get right now that are important in order to get to the last segment of the game. We're actually getting pretty close to the last area of the game. We might actually get to see it in the stream. I'm only going to stream for about another hour, though. Alright. There we go. Anyways, want to return to the item box. And get two items from here. They're going to be all the way down here, the Medal of a Wolf, and the Medal of an Eagle. Yeah, that's all we're going to need. We're going to need these for the l final puzzle of the mansion here. Because after this, we're going to be gone from the mansion for good. We're never going to have to go back to the mansion. All right. Hey. It's nice of the game to not put any enemies here, like hunters or zombies and stuff. I would be sad if they did. That would be pretty mean of them. But yeah. Anyways, you want to go up this elevator once again with our two medals in hand. And they're going to be important for this little bit. I don't think there are any enemies here. 100% sure. Large iron door and it won't budge. Don't think that door does anything that I can think of. Alright. Should be... Circular Depression, there is a wolf shaped emblem carved inside. So, this is where we use the wolf emblem here, or the wolf metal. That's one. And there should be a second one over here. There it is. Circular Depression, there's an eagle shaped emblem covered inside. Use this here, and then that's it. Get a little cutscene.
And that opens up a new area of the mansion. Or, you know, the area of the game. Alright. Use the elevator. Yes. Alright, let's go down. this. Sign reads, will not open unless in first class emergency. Alright. That'll be important for later. But, hell, welcome everyone to the final area of the game. Let me take these ink ribbons first though. <laughs> welcome to the laboratory. The final area of the game. Thankfully there's a typewriter and an item box right here. Free t ink ribbons as well. Let's see. And so, what we're gonna need for the first time in a long while, we're actually gonna need the kerosene that we have here. Because in the laboratory, as you may have not have guessed it, there's some zombies down here. But they're pretty salty down here, too. They didn't like being cooped up all zombified down here. Like Bob and his friends upstairs, back in the mansion. Actually, gonna move this MO disc up here because that's gonna be important, but not for now. Alright, that should be everything I need for now. Alright, we're actually gonna. We're actually here. We're actually in the laboratory. It's taken us quite some time to get here, too. And if you notice, there's some kerosene over here. It's gonna be important for later. Brains. Alright, can't tell if he's dead. Don't think he is. Quick reload. Wait for him to get back up. Alright, he's dead. Just gotta make sure. Is he bleeding out? I uh, can't tell from me. Yeah, he's bleeding out. Alright, good. There should be three zombies in this area right here. Don't know exactly where they are. Take this. Probably use it for later. There he is! Hello! He can't be dead from just that. No, he's not. Thought so. Come on. I know you want to get back up. Right, he's dead, and there's gonna be a third one to kill. Since we're gonna be going through this area a lot, we're actually gonna need to use the kerosene here. Burn these two up. There we go. They're both dead. Well, dead as dead and could get, I suppose. There we go. Brains. Can I have some brains? No, you may not have any brains. Watch out for this salty friend here. Maybe a little bit red, but he's not a crimson head. And one shot it. Nice. Alright. Thankfully, that's all the zombies that are over here. And if you hadn't... Oh, well, what do you know? There's an MO disc here. That's two of three. Locked electronically. Gonna have to take care of that. Oh, I'm gonna put some stuff away in the chest now.
gonna put the old uh hmm. gonna put two things away to take the other herb. So I got plenty of herbs at least. Put those away for now. Organize later. Then we're gonna take the second ammo disc and the the other green herb. Thankfully this area is now 100% safe, no longer compromised. Take that herb. And of course take this MO disc. Very important that we took this. This place is spooky when a capital spooky. that there might as well combine these into a giant herb mixture take a second one combine this one to get a full heal mixture I don't know if there are any enemies here that can still poison you but yeah Better safe than sorry, I always say. We'll need the fuel canteen, though. Alright, let's go. Can't go through here, so we gotta go down. Third floor. Trying to. Yeah, okay. I think we can go in through here right now. Should be safe. Right here is a nice little first aid box. has a mixture of two green herbs and this levers for releasing the door locks now if you can just release the locks and the levers locked if you can just get those levers to work on the side it should open now that's gonna be very important actually that's one of the most important doors that we're gonna have to take care of a little bit later alright let me check the map All right. There's a f two doors that we're going to be able to go through, but right now we can't. Because we're in full inventory, we're going to need some space. Okay, he's still alive. Come on. There we go. Good thing we got a lot of ammo. Alright. Oh. If they have both, um... If that guy's head didn't blow up, I would have probably been able to burn both of them. Yeah, I should burn both of them, I think. Exit the door and re-enter just to be sure. Pretty sure there should be the only two zombies there. 
that little bit. Well, let's see if they both got burned. Yes, they did both get burned. Nice. Anyways, there's, for whatever reason, a defense dagger here. And I think that should be it. Yeah. I don't think there's any more zombies here. Doors that we can't really go through right now. Go through this door. Don't know if we're supposed to go through this door right now. Well, let's check. Might as well check and remember. There's a few points of interest that we need to go into. Oh, this is this room. Thankfully, there are no enemies in here, but there are some magnum ammo that we can't take. Of course. Come back through here a little bit later. But I think for now, we should be fine. Take a quick drink of my orange soda. Mmm, it's good stuff. Alright. We're gonna need some inventory space. I think quite a bit of inventory space as well. Alright. How many green herbs do I have left? Regular green herbs I still got plenty of. I don't think we're gonna need a fuel canteen for now. And for the time being, I don't think we're gonna need the shotgun and the ammo. I will take the magnum rounds just to take for the inventory space of that other magnum. But I think we should be good now. Alright. I have to admit the atmosphere, the music this area makes is really spooky as hell. There you go. Now then, we're gonna go through here because there's a door that we can go through right now. It's actually kind of important that we go through here first. Alright. Alright. First off, there's a thing we can get right here. Which is why we need the inventory space, which is an x-ray. The name is... a name is on it. Clark Dave. Clark David. Alright, there should be another one, I think, here somewhere. Oh no, researcher's note. June 18th, 1998. My dearest Ada. Ada? Hmm. By the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I expected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass, but it, it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive. I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then, activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole in whole accident public. If everything still is everything is uh, if everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in a small security room so that you can log in the log into the system using my name and your name as the passwords. You will need another password to release the lock on the door in the second in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located as a safety measure i have coded the password onto an x-ray picture a retro uh retrogenogram i think that's I, I don't know how to pronounce that to be honest 
I know you, and you sh I know you, and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing, and it's my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous state, I beg you to put me out of a mystery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John Ada. Hmm. Anyways, over here is another x-ray. A memo on the message board catches your attention. There is something scrawled on a notepad. To use the electronic door, please place initials in alphabetical order. Lungs, esophagus, liver, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, and colon. Alright. Space here to put the x-rays. Then uh, Alex Bletch is right there. This should be Clark David. All right. There we go. And then Ed Fisher right here. His name Ed Fisher. All right. And then lastly, which is what is that? Gail Holland. There you go. There we go. All those are in place. We actually turn the switch off here. Which then puts that there. Part of it's glowing red. Part of it is glowing red. That's glowing red. And those are glowing red. Alright. If you notice, it was the colon, the esophagus, the liver, and the lungs. And there's actually a password that spells out a word here. So colon starts with C, esophagus starts with E, liver starts with L, and then lungs starts with L as well. And that actually spells out the password, which is cell. C-E-L-L. -L. So that's going to be important for later. For now let's just get rid of this tint of red. There we go. We're pretty much done with this room. We've done the puzzle here. That's for the next room that we got to go into. Now then, before I go there, I just want to remember... I'm just going to look at what's the password. Is it like both words together? Okay. Okay, using your name. Okay, that's how you do it. You got to use John as the username and then Ada as the password. Is that door back there? Yeah, it was locked. I think we were supposed to open one of those doors. Anyways. Go through here. Get this. Now we have 12. Magnum shots. Very nice. And then there's something right here that we can get. Which is the V-Act researcher's note. There are now evidence that when the host body, oh, the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic compound of the body. The host eventually mutates into a humanoid creature. We call them VX. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already, four of our researchers. Researchers. <laughs> Researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric acid, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. So yeah, this is the origin of the Crimson Heads here. That dangerous and precious prototype can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to do it. Termination is definitely not an option. We have decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. So there's the puzzle for that. Also there's some body bags which is really creepy here. A first aid box. And then there's one other thing right here which is shining. If I can get it. It's like, there it is. Another flash grenade. And that's it. Those are all the items you can get there. Creepy ass little body bags but thankfully they don't come to life. 
Anyways, what's in here? A green herb. Just one singular green herb. Huh. Alright. Umbrella Computer OS R O P L S T M. Copyright Umbrella Incorporated. Welcome to Umbrella. Please input. Anyways. Put in the password here, which is John. Enter. And then we put in the well, the login first, which is John, and then the password, which is Ada. Alright, let's go look at some pornography. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Those, this, is, this is too old. This was actually when computers didn't have the internet back then. Anyways, basement door lock operation select floor. Alright. Permission denied, and this is where we gotta put the password, which is cell. C E L L. There we go. Permission granted. Unlocked. Alright, and that opens up the door that's upstairs that we can actually go into. And there's actually a little thing that's in the background. It actually has one of the notes about the green herb mixture. If you notice in the little file that's in the back of this little blinking light, which is kind of cool. And now we can open up this door as well. Alright, that is actually a free door to open, which is the other door on the other side that we were just at. Yes. Man, that. That is an old looking computer. That is like Windows 95, 98 old. Man, I feel old because we had like one of Windows 98 computer way back growing up. Those computers are ancient. I remember those. It had like all the uh, animated screen backgrounds and stuff like that and the other stuff. Also, we had Sonic CD on it. It wasn't the it wasn't the, the console, like the Sonic CD console, but it was actually on the PC. It was like for one of those few games for like Sega that had it like on the S Sonic CD, which was on computers. Like it was actually able to be used on computers like Windows, and you can actually use it on the Sega CD thing. We never had the Sega, so we. it was cool. It came with the computer too. Sonic CD came with the computer we bought, or I guess my family bought, because I'm, you know, I was too young to know all this stuff back in the day. All right. Anyway, we'll just dump off a few of these items, get some inventory space because we're gonna need it, and yeah. take this double mixture with us. Combine. And then store. Because we're not going to need this for now. Alright. I'm trying to think of what we're going to need. I think we will need the shotgun again. I think I'll leave the ammo though. I don't know if I'm going to need the ammo. I think... I think that'll be enough. Alright, anyways, we want to go back downstairs. Back into that room we d opened up earlier. Thanks to the uh, security lock mechanism with the computer terminal. I wonder if anyone still remembers Windows 98. I wonder if any of you guys still remember Windows 98. That stuff was old. I don't think we have our old computer. We probably like recycled it a long time ago. I can. I rem think I remember. It's been a long time. Oh, hello. Naked zombie. Ah, 
Ah, get it off, get it off. Okay, that actually kind of hurt me. That sucks. Damn naked zombies. More magnum ammo. Man, they're just rolling out with the magnum ammo. Why are they giving me so many? Anyways, we want to get here is this slide filter, which is important for another little puzzle. No, oh, such isn't quite human. Filled with a clear fluid, you'd probably be better off not touching. Yeah. Uh, I think there should be something we can see here. Where? Okay. Oh yeah, there's this. This is important. There seems to be some kind. There seems to be something behind this sturdy door. No, we don't want to open it, actually. Leave that the way it is for now. And then there's a note here. A fax. To Sanitation Division. Management of Sanitation from Raccoon Disasters Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the name address E only. Any copying or disclosure of its contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the center. After reading the contents of this fact, this must be destroyed immediately. Well, they did a good job of not destroying this, obviously. We expected we expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T virus outbreak then initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern. More than half of the researchers have been infected by the T virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T virus infection. Second concern. Our secret, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern: There is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunately, these cas these underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken into ac actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect that the first official intervention will come from the state police and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Hmm. Anyways, there's one little thing of importance here: a security trend. The security system passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you can transmit the passcode to the system. This is very important. We need to get one of the MO disks for here. This is this is now where it comes into play with the MO disks. So now we want to go take the slide filter upstairs and take one of the MO disks and use one of them for that little bit there. Going the wrong way. Alright. Hold up. Okay. We're gonna take one MO disc. It should be enough space. And we're gonna actually, actually should take probably both of them. Because there is one more MO disc that we're going to need to get, but that's going to be for a little bit. Well, that won't be for a, li for a little while, actually. Alright, don't need the magnum ammo? Man, 18... 24 magnum shots. Jesus, that's a lot. Oh yeah, MO discs. Take both of them right now. They're actually going to be important now. I don't know if the other terminal is going to be right here, but I know there's a second one nearby. But I don't think it's going to be in the room we unlocked up here. But we're going to take that uh, MO disc and take care of it right now.
All right. All right, close enough, and then there we go. That's one ammo disc. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Also, if you hadn't noticed, this was because I think it was in the GameCube version. That is supposed to be shaped like a GameCube, actually, which is pretty cool. Because it has, you know, the little, the little controller ports in the front there. It doesn't have the little hook grab, like the little hook that you can grab from the side. It doesn't have like the case, but this is supposed to be like a uh, supposed to be like a GameCube, which is pretty neat. Which is pretty neat of them to do that. And it's pretty cool that they actually kept that in this version of the game as well. You know, really re-release. You'd think they would have uh, changed it, but they, it's kind of nice that they gave that little nod to the GameCube there. All right, can't do anything down here. I actually have to go upstairs now. How many of these do I have left? Alright. Alright. Now we can finally go through this door. Thankfully this room is safe and there's no enemies in here, but most importantly I think this is, yes, the final MO disc. Now we have all four MO discs. There's a map of the laboratory. We'll take that, definitely. Oops. Wait, altar? Oh yeah, this area gets counted as an area. The mansion, the courtyard, the residence, the altar. I thought this area wasn't counted. I thought this was supposed to be like part of the mansion. Huh. And lastly, the laboratory, which has got a bit of a room area over there. Yeah, down there. I'm not looking forward to down there that much. Oh, damn it. Don't want to. I'm trying to check something check something of importance. Alright. Yeah, that's gonna be important. Alright, got a map, and I think those are some shotgun shells, right? Can't carry any more, though. Ah, here we go. Security protocols. Level 1. Heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Basement level 1. Passage to heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on site. That's pretty fucking messed up. Elevator slash the elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level 2. Visual data room for the use by the special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Basement level 3. Prison slash sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consult research, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple door lock. Entry onto the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the locks with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive outpost terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as a primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to the headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to the consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals. Use and access of the Outpost terminals is limited to the authorized senior researchers. Basement level 4. Regarding the progress of Tyrant after administration of the T-Virus. Illegible hereafter. Hmm. Lots of foreshadowing right there and some important things that we're going to have to take the note. Passcode entry terminal. 
uh, what is this? Don't remember what this is. I think there's something here. Passcard. Oh no. I thought you can investigate the other little thing that was right there. Uh, I think that should be everything. Screen for use with. The screen for use with a movie projector. And that should be everything except for this little thing here. The film has been set into place. View it? Yes. Umbrella Bio Organics Weapon Official Report. MA 13, the Severus. The FI 03, Neptune. The MA 121, Hunters. The T 002, Tyrant. Bio Organics Weapons Research Group. Development Staff. And then a barcode. Ooh, lots of foreshadowing. Anyways, we want to use this slide filter here. It's very important. Ignore all this, because that's not where it's important. Oh, damn it. There we go. 8462. That's very important, because that's actually the password we need here in order to bypass the security system. So, 8, 4, 6, 2. There we go. And that opens a door back there. And then there's a little prize for us inside. Which is this. The laboratory key. I believe that should be one of the final keys of the game. An electrical symbol is imprinted on it. Wait, what did that say? Key for the power area. Alright. There's one last thing we gotta do in here, but first we're gonna dump off the items that we got, because we got a full inventory. Huh. <sighs> Man, we are actually getting pretty close to getting to the end of the game. There's probably a few more things before we actually reach end game, and I only got about ten more minutes of the stream. Hope you guys have enjoyed the trip so far. All right, for now, let's just put away these two ammo discs. We're gonna hold on to that key, and we're actually gonna take this shotgun ammo just to have it, so we can stack it. After what we do in here, back in that room, once all is said and done there, we can actually use the key for the unlocking of the doors that we need. Alright, take this first. And we'll take this. And that should be everything. Yep, that's everything. Anyways, the final thing that we can do here is check this thing here. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you it looks like you can use it to view key, Kenneth's film. We can actually finally see Kenneth's film here. Oh, one second folks. I gotta hear my phone vibrating. I'll be right back.
sorry about that. It was very important that I had to take care of that. I had to take care of that very important phone call. Otherwise, yeah. <sighs> Alright, anyways. Now we can finally check out that film. Man, Kenneth, you are one lousy shot. All that for Kenneth to be quite the dumbass and get killed by one zombie. I'm, I'm sorry, Kenneth, but that that was that was kind of sad. It's like watching a train wreck. All right. Now that we've taken care of that, let us go put away the ammo and the first aid spray. And do one final thing before I call it a video. Because there should be one more area I can go to before I have to call it a night. Actually, you know what I'm going to... Might as well. Better safe than sorry. I, have, I mean, I got plenty of herbs and stuff. I think I will need this one more time. Don't think we're going to need the ammo for this for now. Hold on to the pistol still. But there should be one final thing we can do. And it's to use this key to open up a few doors. Most importantly, open up some doors that are down here now. I think this should open one or two doors. I don't honestly remember how many doors this opens up. I don't know if it's just the one or if it's the two doors that are over here. These two right here. There. That opens that. There we go, that opens both of them. Alright. Perfect, actually. Alright. Want to go through here, and there's just one room that I want to go to. And that'll be it. Rest it shut. Zombie over there. Sounds like there's two of them. Just gonna wait for his naked ass to get over here. Come on, get your naked butt up here. Nice. Let's care of you. I'll wait for his butt to get over here as well. Come on. Running out of time, naked zombie. Wait for him to get in sight. There we go. Alright, he's dead. Just wait. Give him a moment to bleed out. There we go. One more, and... There we go. He's bled out. Gotta make sure to burn him, too.
There we go. Because the last thing we want are some crimson heads in this area. Alright. They're both burnt. Alright. Perfect. Might as well get that last bit of kerosene because, uh, well, we're, I don't think we're going to need kerosene anymore, but might as well take it to have just in case. I don't think there are any more zombies or naked zombies in this area, but I could be wrong. And I'd rather be safe than be wrong. Don't want to have any, you know, salty zombies coming after me, and especially Crimson Heads, the saltiest of salt. What? Oh, I went in here for no, for I didn't mean to go in here. Sorry. I'm already reaching my time up limit. All right, there. And then not a single drop of kerosene remains. So this is going to be the last two uses of kerosene in the game. Well, except for the two that's left in the... Residence. But, yeah. Since we placed those, um... Stone and metal objects in the door there, I don't think they're... I don't think it's possible to remove them, so there's no way we can go back to the residence. Anyways, it was very important that we cleared out all the enemies in the way of this area, because that's going to be very, very important for later on. You'll understand a little later. Maybe in the next stream, you guys will understand what I'm talking about. Anyways, over here is an elevator, which isn't working at the moment. So you'll have to operate the switch on the right-hand side. It appears to be the control panel. Press the switch, and it doesn't appear to be getting any power. So we need to turn the power on for that elevator in order to progress. And we don't want to go in there. We want to go into here because this is a very important room. Because it is the final save room of the game. This is actually the final save room you can get to. Well, with the exception of the other save room that's um, upstairs. Chairs and medical supplies are scattered about. The walls are covered with dozens of claw marks. There's a box here as well. There's some ammo as well we can pick up. And then there's some ink ribbons here. Various types of chemicals. The labels are too grimy to read. You can't tell what's inside. Yeah, probably for the best to eat as well. Alright. Put these things away. How many first aid sprays do we have? It's a lot. All right. And then these are the final ink ribbons of the game as well. The refrigerator isn't turned on. Yeah. Put these here. So that is 24 ink ribbons total that we have. And then that means that there should be a total of 6 used. So that means there are a total of 30 ink ribbons in the entire game. Well, on normal. I don't know if there's going to... There's probably less in, like, the harder difficulties of the game, but... On normal mode, there's going to be only 30 ink ribbons that you can use to save your game. And that should be it, actually. That should be it for tonight's stream, actually. We got a lot of progress done in this episode. There's still quite a lot of things I need to do, actually. We need to use the last two MO discs and do some things to get the power back on the elevator as well.
But then, yeah, that should be it. Next stream should be the final stream of Resident Evil HD Remastered. And then I'll be able to get back into Jill's story, do that on my own time, and record that as well. And then I will be pretty much done with Resident Evil HD. And then this next stream will be the final stream of Resident Evil Chris's story, and then I can actually move on to a new game. Which I'll talk about in the next stream, actually. I hope you guys have enjoyed this stream tonight. Before Christmas. It's probably Christmas in some areas, but right now it's 9.04 p.m. Pacific Time, where I am. But yeah, I hope you have all enjoyed tonight's stream. All of you that have come by and stuff. This will be up on my YouTube channel as well, so you can be able to watch it there. But thank you so much, everyone that's joined up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.